This Carter Sports back. And today, we head down to USC to check out DeAnton Lynn defensive scheme on film. So let's go. And before I start this video, can y'all please hit that like, please. And boy, if you ain't subscribed, you better subscribe. Disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Trojan fans, Trojan fans, let's get into this defense. Like, as you see right here, as I'm running these plays, that's a 4 2 5. And it's an interesting 4 2 5. You know, he got two down defensive tackles, right? It's two tackles in the middle. Then you got two rush edges at the line of scrimmage. So you got two tackles and two rush edges at the line of scrimmage. Then you got two linebackers behind them with five DBs. Then right here where I say get a little tricky or a little creative. So in this formation, you have two tackles, two rush edges, and two linebackers. But you got five on the line of scrimmage. The middle linebacker came and blitz as you see. But the formation, you they had five guys on the line of scrimmage right two d tackles three rush edges now number 20 at the bottom of the screen he's a linebacker so it's really two d it's really like a four two five but it's a five two front so that's what lynn talking about he wants versatile players right so the linebacker at the bottom of the screen number 20 he got to be able to play at the line of scrimmage and play back as linebacker so he got to be able to be a rush edge and a linebacker at the drop of a call because it's the same personnel but different alignment so it's two d tackles two rush edges right and then you got the linebacker at the line of scrimmage with him so in, in the four two five it's just four guys at the line of scrimmage then they hop into a five two but with the same personnel it, it's not an extra defense alignment it's just that that linebacker comes up to the line of scrimmage as you see so i see what lynn talking about when he want to be creative and players got to be virtual because one minute like number 20 down here one minute you might have to play midfield you might have to play the linebacker position the ne very next play you might have to go rush edge you know what i'm saying and then in some formations that same linebacker that had to go and play rush edge he might got to line up at rush edge but then drop back in coverage you see what i'm saying now let me show y'all another interesting formation now this is the five two again which you're gonna see coming up next but it got different personnel this time right so hold on let me run it back let me run it back excuse me let me run it back for y'all hold on hold on bear with me all right now right here it's a 5-2 front then you got the linebacker number two blitzing but it's a 5-2 front right but this time it's three down linemen instead of two it's three down linemen and it's two rush edges right so that same formation can have different personnel sometimes that same that same formation has two uh three down linemen a rush edge and a linebacker you know what i'm saying so i see the versatility and how i confuse the offense because sometimes you might come out and look at the personnel and say oh it's two linebackers out there so they they must be in this but with D dan Ty lynn he will run different formations 
with the same personnel and vice versa. He'll run a uh, different personnel, but with the same formation. So we just seen the five two, two different times, but with different personnel. So that's why these players have to be versatile. That's why he preach versatility. Now check this out. Oregon State, they line up in the 12 personnel. Two tight ends, right? And UCLA can bash that with three down linemen, a rush edge at the top, and a linebacker at the line of scrimmage. But number four, I think that's number four. He's a, he's a linebacker. He played linebacker for the most part, but he had to play rush edge too. So in this position, I mean, I see two linebackers out there. So you can either look at this as a three linebacker front or two because the linebacker at the bottom of the screen, he on the line of scrimmage, but you already got three down linemen. So what is we calling that? Is he a rush edge? Is he a linebacker that's blitzing in the box? Like, what is he? So I can see how this confused confuse the offense. Now, the rush edge at the top, okay, I see that. But the rush edge at the bottom, is that a linebacker or a rush edge? Like, I didn't watch football for a long time, and I'm telling you, I don't know what to call him down here at the bottom. Is he, is he a rush edge? Do, do they got three down linemen and two rush edges? Or they got three down linemen in the rush edge and they just got an extra linebacker in the box. Let's see how to play. Let's see how to play develop. So like scouting this defense is kind of I'm scouting defense and it's kind of confusing how he switch up personnel and formation. But at the same time, I love it because for offense, it's hard to figure out, figure it out, find tendencies and, and certain things like that. So yeah, he end up rushing, right? So the so so the the guy I was calling the linebacker. Hold on, let me pause this for y'all. The guy I was calling the linebacker at the bottom of the screen, he did a light rush. So I guess I guess what he was doing, it was depending on the play, right? Because he didn't go full bore on a rush, or he didn't drop back in coverage. He did a little light rush. The quarterback got it out quick, but the 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 defender I was calling the rush edge, he dropped back in coverage. <laughs> Now on this play, the same formation again. Now look, the same formation again. That rush edge. Now he rushing, and now that linebacker he dropping back in coverage. So in actuality, the linebacker at the bottom of the screen in the first play he was the rush edge, and the guy at the top of the screen who looked like he's the rush edge he was actually the linebacker dropping back in coverage. So this. Dan Tyler's system, like when 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 you scout it, man, it's, it's everything he said is. You need versatility. You need players who can play multiple positions. Like the best way to describe Dan Tyler's defense is a multiple defense that a personnel group can run multiple formations, right? And a formation can run multiple different personnel. So what I'm saying is, Dan Tyler can run a four-two-five. With two or three different personnel sets, right? And Dan Tom Lynn with one personnel set can run three or four different formations. So if you ask me, I feel like we need to have this defense work. Of course, you already see we need versatility in our rush edges. Our rush edges got to be able to play rush edge and linebacker, and they got to be able to cover, right? And then we need two defensive tackles to eat up blocks. UCLA had Toa and Keenu Williams. They were stout up front. So we need we, we need two. We got Bear. Is Isaiah Rakes gonna step up? If we got Isaiah Rakes step up to the level of Bear, which I think he can, then we're gonna be good in the middle. But this defense, what what I notice is you need two beef eaters. You need two defensive tackles that gonna cause wreck in the middle. And you need multiple rush edges that can play rush edge and linebacker, man. So this defense is sweet. I like it. Cause if you if you a player you want to feel, you're gonna have to be versatile. Now look at this formation. Again, the three down linemen is five dudes on a line of scrimmage. So that's a five-two formation. Right? But it, we don't know exactly what it is until the snap. One of them, one of them five down linemen, one of them might drop back and be playing linebacker or playing the edge in coverage or linebacker in coverage. So do we look at this formation with, with, with five down linemen and two linebackers or, or is it really a 
It is really a 3 4. We're looking at three down, three down linemen and four linebackers. But instead of the four linebackers off the line of scrimmage, they own the line of scrimmage. You know what I'm talking about? So this is my little quick breakdown of uh, Deion Tomlin in defense. And what I say is more, most, what he like to run the most is, is the 4 2, the 4 2 5, with his two big tackles with two rest edges beside him, or the 3 3 5. Or the three, four, depending on how you look at it, where he got five men on a line of scrimmage. And it'd be three down linemen and two linebackers that could interchange rush edge or linebacker. So that's the quick analysis on De'Anton Lynn defense, man. I see what he talking about. He need players that's versatile so he don't got a sub. So that same personnel, he can run different formations, y'all. We got a good one. We got a good one. He playing chess out there. So until then, it's your boy Carter Sports. Coming live from L.A., this USC, Trojan City. So let's go.